Welcome to this mix for the waves and radiation unit and the nuclear radiation topic looking at absorbed dose at National 5. What you need to know is you need to know what is meant by absorbed dose in terms of the energy of the radioactivity uh, a tissue will receive or each kilogram of tissue will receive and you need to be able to calculate absorbed dose. So when radiation reaches our body or tissue, it is absorbed. And this is the absorbed dose. The absorbed dose takes into account the energy that reaches the tissue or the body and the mass of that part that is exposed. Absorbed dose is the energy divided by the mass. Where the dose is in grays, the energy is in joules, and the mass is in kilograms. Remember the unit grays, as this is a common multiple choice question asking you the unit for absorbed dose, equivalent dose, or activity. So grays for absorbed dose, activity, becquerels, equivalent dose, sieverts. So as we said, the absorbed dose is the energy absorbed per unit mass or per kilogram of tissue with units in grays. One gray is the same as one joule per kilogram. If we look at some typical doses, if you have an x-ray, you've got 0 0.0015 grays, CT scan, which is basically a 3D x-ray with lots of x-rays taken at the same time, a bit higher. Uh, gamma rays that might redden your skin, three grays. And that fatal dose of five grays, typical dose to kill a tumor over six weeks, 60 grays. Obviously that's focused on a particular area rather than the whole body. So a 50 kilogram person is exposed to a radiation of 0 0.25 joules. So here's their mass, here's their energy, calculate the absorbed dose. So the absorbed dose D is the energy divided by the mass, which is 0 0.25 divided by 50. And 0 0.25 divided by 50 is the number of grays that we've got, which is 0 0.05 grays, GY. The effect this would have on the person would depend upon which part of the body um, they've exposed. This is assuming a dose across the whole part. Um, if it had, was, had an effect on your hand or your brain, it would have a different effect. And that's where the equivalent dose comes into account. So you should be able to state that the absorbed dose is the energy per kilogram and be able to do calculations involving absorbed dose. 